from naturallyhighlife.com, the creator of that. And right now, we're going to do a angel love guidance reading for the week of September 27th through October the 3rd. I am glad to have you here with me. Thank you so very much. No, this week, what is everybody going to be experiencing this week is what I'm asking. And I'm using a different deck for this week. Because I was instructed to by the angels. First card coming up is this one. The shadow. This is the moon card in the regular tarot deck. They're saying that to be on your guard. Because all things are not as they seem. There are certain energies that may hinder your judgment of being able to see clear and to handle situations this week as if you are outside and it's midnight and you uh, don't have a street light on and you can't see that well, handle things, uh, conversations that you have, especially surrounding holding this thing up, but you want to hold a torch up so you can really hear and see what this person's talking about. You want to not just Take the first thing that you hear and run with it because you may hear something that is not completely true or it's not completely there or it's not all the answers. You need more details perhaps this week. Okay. On the positive side, it is definitely a good time for working on your intuition, on listening to your inner guidance, you know, dreams things like that. So keep a, um, a dream journal or, you know, something like that this week. So that way you can write down the messages that come up for you. Maybe also, um, yeah, a lot, a very laid back type of feel too, as far as love is concerned, just chilling, you know, both people have come to a place where they're like, okay, some people are saying, yeah, this is BS, but you know what? This person is dealing with my stuff and I'm able to deal with their stuff. And honestly, I kind of know what to expect, especially, ooh, especially with the cycles of the moon. You all know how it is. Certain cycles of the moon reveal different parts of people. And when the moon is full, you really get to see what's there. So when I put this reading out, that's going to be on Sunday. It's going to be a full moon eclipse, a game changer type of week, beginning the week off. So what does that mean for you? What sort of lessons are coming up that are coming clear that are or are not that clear right now for you as this um, eclipse starts. The next card coming up for us this week is suffering in silence. And definitely this particular week, there is certain realizations that have come. It's like, and some people are going to be wanting to run the other way. But you're, you know, kind of sitting in a place where, um, where you feel stuck, you don't feel like you're able to move in any direction. There's also probably a feeling of being suspended in time, caught out there by yourself, um, not able to get the assistance that you need, and communication may seem hopeless. You say something, the person takes it the wrong way. You say something, the person doesn't take it as well or as deep as you would like to, like them to, or they get into um, mind games. So it it kind of pushes you away. So some of you are feeling pushed away, and they're saying it's not like you're not going to get past this because you will. You'll get past this just like you have before. But some of you have already had enough. You're at the end of the rope. We got the number nine card here. So the next step is going to be um, moving into that other direction. It's going to be actually 
you're setting up the plans right now in order to go and do you. However that looks, you know, because you're just done with dealing with the BS, the cheating, the mind games, the overthinking, and the person may have a, um, a mental thing that they're dealing with or you know it may be temporary but some people may have a mental illness and it's something that you would have to be extremely patient with because um the perspective in in someone's mind is kind of um skewed it's it's just um they're seeing it's like they're seeing life as they want to see it but it's not reality but what is happening is it's time to work on this you know child childhood stuff coming back up at this very important time it's a time to definitely get out of being so serious for sure and to get out and have a good time with your love also, getting out, having a good time is going to affect who you meet and how. And it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't matter how you meet them. But um, it's, it's just a time to have some fun and to get out of any sort of funk that you may feel. And you may feel like you're not ready yet. Maybe you're not ready. You may not feel like you're ready to, to come together with anybody. You know, feeling uh, a fe feelings of apprehension, but I definitely feel that um, caught up, feeling caught up with someone. But the words came up caught up before I got to this car, so I had already been picking up. <laughs> but feeling caught up, but because there's some sort of a lesson to learn of a deeper nature, you're having to do the waiting game. Is this person in a relationship with someone else? Maybe you are. Maybe there's something hidden that you hadn't seen until today. The day you're, you're, you're listening to this. The day that you come to this video to watch it. Or the day, you know, um, there's just something. There's like something bubbling over is what I'm feeling. You've been waiting on this person to leave their somebody they're married to or in a relationship with and they're just not doing what you thought they were going to do. I see that there was a love triangle or there was somebody, there were two people seeing other people. They decided they are not happy where they are. They're saying that you both decided to go ahead and you got together with somebody else, um, started seeing this person, maybe went a bit further with this person, went out with them, things like that. And now, the um, you may have left your love, uh, but the other person is not leaving the other person. And you're like, what's going on? I thought you and I had made a decision that we both were unhappy where we are and that we were gonna go ahead and, and um, attempt to do something together. So yeah, the waiting game, they're saying that that's how you're feeling, feeling in limbo, stuck out there. You planted some seeds, you hope they were going to grow, but it's like not, you're, you're not able to grab it yet. You're not able to enjoy it yet. It's, it's like um, it's being held apart from you. And I'm getting, you know, so I see some twos here, so I definitely am feeling like this. Wow. Yeah, I didn't even notice that, but I'm... I'm definitely feeling like this has to do with more than one person being involved. Okay, the next card coming up there is this one. So yeah, some of you have definitely had some babies coming along. And um, I'm extremely happy for you because I know that you're happy about it. It's nothing like um, bringing new life into the world. And there's nothing like also birthing new ideas and projects into this world and, and not having all the answers, but still taking steps and taking actions to make your dreams come true. Taking things to the next level with this relationship that you're considering. 
But right now they're saying it's time to really gently put your put your, your guidelines into play and to let people know um, who you are and how you do things. And you might want to write those things down before you even say them so they don't get lost in the wind. Definitely a, a huge monumental realization and discovery that is coming up, that has come to you last week to this week because it's going to bring you, they're saying it's going to bring you satisfaction. It rhymes, it sounds corny. <laughs> It could sound corny they're saying to you, but you know what it means, whoever this message is for. The other card coming up is temptation. And they're saying this has to do with that you, you really want to disconnect from feeling lonely, you know, because you're going to attract some stuff you don't want to attract. They're saying that let that thing go and to call your guides, call your ancestors in and to let them assist you and let them be your guides and let them be there with you. Uh, because some of you are uh, experiencing what feels like lust. Um, yeah, well, that's not what they, they it said, what I was going to say, what they said, lust. You're experiencing something that you think is love, but it's really lust. And it's not easy to break away from this other person because they just are such a yummy, delicious, um, beautiful looking soul. Um, and they just seem to have done something to you. Like they've waved some type of spell or giving you some type of potion or something. And you're like caught up. And it's like, um, it's like your favorite candy or something. And it's like you're reaching... You're reaching for the antidote over here, but it's like pulling you down. But it's an illusion. They're saying it's an illusion to snap out of it. If it's not good for you, then rethink it. And see just how it can really fit into your life if it's something that is even for you or not. With the way this looks, you know, it looks like it's, you know, it's a dark thing. It, maybe it's not dark, but it's just something that is very strong and it's kind of overpowering you. For some of you, this is attempting to stay on a diet and the foods that you love just keep calling to you. They're saying to do not, do not take, don't take everything out of your diet that, that's not, um, that you don't feel like is good for you. Just balance. Eat a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Eat half of this, half of that. Don't eat till you, till you um, just overstuff yourself. They're saying to, to be satisfied. Life is meant to be enjoyed. So even with dealing with this person that this could be talking about, who's such a temptation that I don't know this person may be married. Mm -hmm. If they are, you all know how things work. They come back around to you. I know some of you all don't care about all that because that's how good this thing is. But they're saying to just be careful and be mindful of yourself and to do what's best for you. Do what's best for you. Look out for you. Don't allow yourself to be manipulated and taken advantage of. And to be on the lookout for clues to what the truth is. If you have a feeling in your gut that you're not getting the answers that you need, then um, you might not be getting them. Okay. Next card coming up is this one. Uh, ground yourself. <laughs> I mean, how many of us can use some grounding? Like really rooting yourself in place and not just being all over the place and scattered when it comes to love romance, getting married to someone, you know, not just being all up into what the other person wants, but what is it that you want? What is it that you want? And they're saying, are you fronting just to keep the other person happy at the expense of your own needs? They're saying that many times you all can um, can fix things by just 
just connecting to Mother Goddess. That's all you have to do. Many times you can fix things by just connecting to Mother Goddess. So they're saying, will you do it? This also has to do with not feeling like there is enough in the relationship, especially when it comes to the other person making money and what they're bringing in. Some of you are uh, wanting to go out there and meet this, this person who is making all this money, who is stable and secure. And not only that physically, but you want it to be more on an emotional level too, because they are, some of you are being attacked. This is not all the same people, but some are being emotionally attacked by others who don't have their emotions intact. These people need some quiet time. So it may be time to give them some space. It may be time for you to get some space while you figure out how you can bring in more stability for you, for you and your family. The next card, the words coming up before I even look at the card is building alliances. <laughs> and this is going to have to do with the universe. That alliance that you need to build on is with the universe, with the world. You know, it's talking about getting serious about your life purpose. Getting serious about your life purpose. I'm excited about that. Um, your destiny. What is that you came here to do? What is it that you came here to do? What is it? What is it? And in finding, finding that and being happy about it and living in it and stepping into that. Living in your purpose. Are you ready to do that? Are you doing it? How can you do it even more? And they're saying it's not about you living outside your comfort zone and all of that for everyone. It's not that. That's not everybody's life purpose. Some people's life purpose is to be in their comfort zone. You get what you want. You know. This life is all about personal choices and you don't have to live by anybody else's rules they're saying your rules are your rules you get to play by your rules but you get what you want and to examine what it is that you want to receive and look back at those intentions that you set because they should be blossoming and blooming right about now you should be seeing some of the effects this week and it's looking good when you get this card this is the world card this is the world card in the major arcana in the tarot so definitely coming to union with what you want coming to a greater understanding of what it is that you came to fulfill and what you came to do, what your talents are, where your strengths lie, who needs to go, who can stay, an exit strategy, finding your strength, tapping into your inner power, all those things coming up right now, you know, tapping into your inner, your inner reserves. Just when you didn't think you had enough to get through that job, to get to stay in that relationship, to see that person in a different light, you know, now you have, you have come to that point. You're you're able to do that, and a certain maturity has come too, and you can see it. Appreciate that about yourself. The angels say you're doing a wonderful job, and you'll see it this week. Enjoy your life. Archangel Michael says to allow this week to be a great lesson to you as you stand in your purpose. And even though you may feel like this, you may feel discontent and boredom, or you may have felt that before, you'll be seeing things coming together much better than they were before. Granted, you have been setting your intentions, and we always are, by the images we hold in our minds, by the things we write down, by the plans we make, by the conversations we have. 
by the way that we dream, by what we dare to dream about. So, if you're discontent and bored with what's going on emotionally, fed up, maybe you've had enough of what's happened in the past, they're saying, this is a green light, it's time to go forward and to do it. To enjoy what it is about that other person that brought you in, that brought you closer to them. Okay. Use your willpower and stand up to everything and make it happen. Use your willpower, will it? Definitely, definitely a time when the downloads coming from this universe coming down cosmically, you're going to be feeling some different stuff. So if you didn't have the will to do it, you're going to feel like you have it now. You're going to have, you're going to have the strength to do it out of nowhere. It's just going to come because you've been wanting it. It takes time for things to happen, as, um, as they say. But once you plant those seeds, it takes time to grow. But it just doesn't happen just like that every time. Sometimes it does. But for those things that you've been wanting to just fall in line, that last step in that last, um, that last block, you know, that last puzzle piece is able to be put down and it's going to be all good. So that was your reading. Definitely check out my website at naturallyhighlife.com. Look for my new course coming out, Spirit Guide Alignment, working with your spirit guides and all that good stuff. So I'll have that out in less than a week. Definitely be gentle with yourself. It's going to be a lot of powerful stuff coming up. Some you may like, some you may not like, but you have meditation, you have nature. Know I'm here. You can definitely connect with me. Do the things that you love. Check out the links below to see my offerings. All of them are down below. To leave me a voicemail, go to my website at naturallyhighlife.com. Click on Speak Pipe on the side and leave me a voicemail from your um, computer, from your phone. And I look forward to hearing from you. If you need to email me, it's peaceismynature at gmail.com. Definitely look forward to hearing from you guys. Let me know what's going on with you. Definitely allow those breakthroughs. Peace, love, and light.